Hi, we're here today with uh, Loveland High School student, uh, sophomore Tommy Sato at the Loveland Magazine TV studio. Now, most uh, a lot of students think about growing up and becoming a teacher, maybe at the grade school or high school level. Tommy here, on the other hand, is already teaching college students Japanese at Raymond Walters. Tommy, tell me a little bit about what you're teaching there. Um, I'm currently teaching Japanese at an advanced level in Raymond Walters College. It's once a week for four hours, but... I'm just instructing, I'm like a second teacher, um, there's another teacher with me. But they're still addressing you as Mr. Sato, right? Yes. <laughs> um, but tell me a little bit more, more about the class. Um, the class-wise, there's 30 students enrolling, and all of, them, all of the students are proficient Japanese speakers, and I was amazed when I first went into the classroom, um, thinking that the Japanese level was below my expectations, but realizing how good they were, it was, um, I was pretty happy about it. All right, now you first find out you're going to be teaching college students. Um, you found out you're going to be teaching college students at, uh, in the guidance counselor's office at Loveland. Uh, what, was a little, what, was, what was going through your mind then? What were you thinking when, what was, uh, when you found out you were going to end up being a uh, teacher in, co in college? Well, first I thought it was going to be my, the, one, the enrollment I'm taking, post-secondary enrollment option. Tell us a little bit about post-secondary enrollment for viewers that don't under, uh, know what that is. Post-secondary enrollment option is an option that you can take in high school where you can double up on your uh, credits, meaning flexi flexibility on your credits. You can take um, college credits in high school, but it will go towards your college and high school credits. Mm -hmm. and. I, I believe a student in Loveland High School, many people, not many, but some people are taking that. Now, this isn't, th th these aren't classes taking at Loveland High School either. Uh, this isn't like your standard AP history, AP chemistry class. Uh, these are taken uh, elsewhere, such as Raymond Walters. Um, but tell me a little bit about what, ha uh, what happened. You walk into the guidance counselor office, she tells you you're going to be teaching at Raymond Walters, and then what's your reaction? My first reaction was apparently, I'm pretty sure she was joking. It had to be because that's like that's highly impossible. Well, because Raymond Walters didn't tell you about this beforehand. The first time you found out for sure that you were teaching was, what, a week before the class? Yes, a week before. So that's what you think it's a joke. And did uh, Raymond Walters give any indication or signs that they were thinking about it? putting you uh, up as a teacher to teach these college students? No, they never had. Like, I had some discussions with it, thinking as it was a joke, but realizing what I received from were the they, guys. Were they specific about it, or were they kind of vague, like, well, we might want to have you work for us? They uh, were really, really, really vague about it. They only said that you could, we would like you to teach, and I was just... I know that they were joking. I thought they were joking. So. Did you want to do it? Yes, I would love to do it. I would, I would have loved it and what well, happened. Do you love it? Yes, I love it. I love it currently. <laughs> uh, so what was, your, what was your family's reaction when you, when the, you came home and said, Mom, Dad, I'm going to go teach some college students? Well, my mother, she didn't understand what was happening, but she knew that something good happened to me, so she was pretty happy well, about it. Why did she understand what was happening? Well, she thought it was normal. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know her common sense, but she thought it was normal, and I was happy about so it. She she just kind of assumed it was a normal uh, course of action for a high school student to go in and start teaching Japanese. Yes. Yeah, so like, and then uh, I thought I thought one of the funniest things was the way your dad handled the situation. Oh, my father. Um, when he first uh, when I first talked about it to him, he just laughed like laughed out loud. Um, saying was he that. laughing at you or was he laughing at Raymond Walters? Yeah, um, he was technically laughing at both because he thought, why would they hire a fifteen year old or sixteen year old student that's only in Loveland, uh, that's only in high school, and why would like why would I like how can I like how can my son teach? Like, I'm pretty sure he, he didn't think have, you could do it? Yeah, he didn't think that I could do it. So what did, what, what did you say to him first night you come back from teaching at Raymond Walters and said... Well, when I first came back from teaching, I was really happy. And my father, he looked at me saying, did you, like, mess up or anything? And I was like, no. Other than being 20 minutes late. Other than being 20 minutes late. Why were you late again? I overslept. I took a nap, but um, I overslept a bit and... Yeah. Were, were the, was the class uh, moving on without you, or were they all No, waiting? they were all waiting, or they were all silent, I should say. I don't know if they were all waiting, but they were all silent. So. Was it was it an uh, unwelcoming uh, welcome into the world of teaching, I guess? Well, first, um, I was just really surprised, like, really nervous when I opened the door, because I know I was late, and I know I wasn't on time. I didn't know what would happen to me, but everyone just welcomed me in, 
and I was pretty happy about it. Okay, because I could see it. I could see if a sixteen-year-old kid were to walk into a high school class, especially, and just start teaching the class. The students, um, n- maybe not all of them at Loveland High School. We have some fine students at Loveland High School, but uh, maybe not all of them would uh, treat the teacher with the respect that they would give to a normal teacher. Um, tell me a little bit about what you were expecting out of the behavior of your students and what ended up happening. Um, I expected to. Um, I expected that there was going to be some disrespect or just talking or like while I'm talking, but I really didn't mind about that because, well, I'm a student and in high school, I sometimes don't listen to the teachers. I may sometimes like interrupt teachers, but I, I thought that that was going to happen, but it didn't happen once. Uh, and I thought that all the students there were all respectful. They were all mature and I was pretty impressed with it. Do you think you're impressing some of the college women? Uh, being a teacher up there, 16-year-old kid teaching the class? Um, Some of the 10 fine young females in the uh, Japanese advanced Japanese course at Raymond Walters? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know about that. <laughs> Could you see yourself being a teacher or a professor in college? Um, not really because I have other dreams. I, lo- I love doing this at this age because there's n- nothing really else to do for me right now. So I think this is a good time for maybe teaching everyone well my language that I love, so. All right, Tommy, I really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ricky Malvi, once again reporting at Loveland Magazine TV Studios for Loveland Magazine.